compressor work head. So what are the compressor work head? We, we will come to know for uh, today's discussion. So certainly we are going to discuss about the compressor work head rise. So what are the compressor processes, work processes? One process is called isothermal process, another is called isentropic process, another is called polytropic process. So three types of processes occurs in compressor. Isentropic process, isothermal process occurs when there is a no change in temperature and this is a minimum heat rise which occurs in, in, this, compressor, in this process. But as I said, this is not very popular in, in industries and not in use. So we can write isothermal process P into V is constant. Isentropic process, yes, it is very, very much used in industry. Isentropic process occurs when there is no change in, in entropy. Process is considered ideal. Isentropic process is expressed as P into V to the power K is equal to constant where K is a CP by CV. Polytropic process, polytropic process is summation of isentropic process of very small stage of compression and it is written P into V to the power N is constant where N is a polytropic index. P is pressure, V is volume, K is a specific heat capacity ratio. Isothermal work, now we have to derive isothermal work head rise. Isothermal process is expressed as P into V is constant, work head of compressor is expressed as head rise is H is equal to a specific volume into dp and using the equation of states we can write p into a specific volume to z into r by m into t so v is equal to z into r by m into t by p replacing v in this above equation we can write h is equal to z into r by m into t dp by p so after integration after integration and isothermal process can be written like this so by changing integration value from p1 to p2 and t1 c2 2 but t, t1 t2 is remain constant so t1 t is equal to we can consider it as t1 and z is equal to z1 so isothermal head rise can be written as hi is equal to z1 into r by m into t1 into log p2 by p1 this is the standard formula for isothermal work head rise now compressor isentropic heat rise isentropic process expressed as p into v to the power constant or you can this can be written as p into a specific volume to the power k is constant same way heat rise is v into dp replacing you know v this can be written as like this and on integration this can be written as this form now after integration and replacing Isentropic head rise can be written as k upon k minus 1 bracket close into p2 into v2 v2 is a specific volume minus p1 into v1 this is a one way through which isentropic head is expressed but there is another way which is most popular form which can be expressed as by replacing you know uh, this equation we can write uh, in another form like hs is equal to k upon k minus 1 is into p1 v1 is taken out we can write p2 v bracket start p2 v2 by p1 v1 minus 1 but again equation using real equation of states p1 v1 specific volume z1 in r by m1 in t1 so replacing these and rearranging isentropic head rise hs is equal to z1 into r by m into k upon k minus 1 into t1 into bracket star p2 by p1 to the power k minus 1 upon k minus k this is the most popular and uh, a standard formula used in, in in the industries for compressor head rise now compressor polytropic head rise the in polytropic it is a summation of isentropic process of isent uh, if the you know the process of compression is very small and polytropic uh, process is written as p into v to the power n is constant or p into a specific volume v a small volume to the power n is also constant so same way we can do the calculation and derive the 
polytrip k drive is equal to hp is equal to c to the power 1 by n into integration form of p to the power minus 1 by n into dp same way polytropic head rise can be written as n upon n minus 1 into p2 bracket star p2 into a specific volume b2 minus p1 into a specific volume b1 bracket close or after replacement and using the you know uh, a standard uh, and i sorry using this equation p1 v1 is equal to z1 r z1 r by m t1 and replacement after replacing polytropic head rise can be written like this z1 hp is equal to z1 into r by m into n upon n minus 1 into t1 bracket star p2 a p1 to the power n minus 1 upon n minus 1 where n polytropic index is written as log p2 by p1 upon log rd2 upon rd1 where rd1 is inlet density written as p1 into m upon z1 rt1 and outlet density is rd2 written as p2 into m upon z2 into r into t2 so this is a standard formula for polytropic head rise now compressor stagnation polytropic head rise you can written as hpo is equal to z1 o into r by m into no upon n1 no minus no upon bracket star no minus 1 bracket close into t1 o into bracket star p2 o upon p1 o to the power no minus 1 upon no minus 1 bracket close where a stagnation polytropic index NO is equal to log of P2O upon P1O bracket close upon log of RDO upon RD1O where inlet stagnation inlet density RD1O is equal to P1O into M upon Z1O into R into T1O and stagnation outlet density RD2O is equal to P2O into M upon Z2O into R into T2O so hope you understood about the compressor work head rise normally three types of work occurs in compressor isothermal work as isentropic and polytropic but in in the industries normally isentropic head and polytropic heads are used so hope you like this thank you thank you for watching